Good morning to all, and it's very, very special to be here today. It wasn't that many months ago that I stood up here in the same position and introduced the brand, the logo, on behalf of a hard-working group of people called the Heart of Georgian Bay. We're carrying on with that task. I said that day that we've got a lot of work to do. I'm still continuing to say that. We've got a lot of work to do ahead of us. It's my pleasure to give a brief intro introduction on tourism, the heart of Georgian Bay, on behalf of the Board of Directors, the new Board of Directors of North Simcoe Tourism Destination Marketing Organization. From TAP, Tourism Action Plan, to Destination Marketing Organization, the path we took to get here. Well, it all started with many of the folks that are in this room right now, I'm looking out there at them, a grassroots, grassroots organization developed by dedicated and passionate tourism and cultural operators that said, we want to make a difference. We want to change things. We can't remain as the status quo. So what did we do? We set up a, a planning committee, a branding committee, and, and out came the branding, the logo, and with a lot of considerable stakeholder involvement, we came up with the heart of Georgian Bay. And we've now seen it become very, very uh, well accepted in our communities. Uh, we're seeing it on all of the television advertising that's being done by Huroni Historical Parks. I look in the real estate section of the newspaper and real estate agents have now got that logo there, the heart of Georgian Bay. We're getting to the goals we wanted to get to, but it's not gonna happen overnight. It's gonna take time. We gathered a lot of information. We've had some focus groups. We've sat with all the parties involved and said, what are your needs? What are your requirements? What do you want to see from us? So we're gathering that information, but we're not there yet. Together, we can make a change. Together, the power of four. Together, all stakeholders working to achieve the same objectives. The outcome, increased visitation, increased consumer spending, increased employment opportunities, and for our politicians, some increased tax revenues. So we're going to get there. What have we got? Well, tourism culture is a very, very large part of North Simcoe. In Ontario, employs 359,000 and 25 billion to the GDP, 12 billion in taxes. Every $1 million spent creates 14 jobs generating half a million dollars in wages and salaries. I bet you'd be surprised to know that Bruce Gray Simcoe, RT07, the province is broken into 13 tourism cultural categories. RT07 is the area that we fall under. We sit number three in visitation in all of Ontario, only beat by, of course, Toronto and southwestern Ontario. We're number three on that list. I think we can all be pretty proud of that. What we can't be proud of is that we're number six in customer spending. We've got some goals ahead of us. We've got to get more overnight visitors. We've got to get more people downtown in our communities. We've got to get them out to the festivals. And we're well on our way of doing that. But wouldn't it be nice to say that we're number three in visitation and we're number three in spending. We've got to get to that goal. Recently, we've, uh, the province announced two signature destinations, of course, Jeronia Historical Parks and the SS Keewatin. On the, the far left side there is just some of the many wonderful assets and attractions we have in our four communities. We can be so proud of the assets we've got and uh, we're, we've got a lot of work to do, but we're well on our way. Next slide, please. Our value slide. The key to this is, is, is on the far right side, economic impact up there. But it only works when we're all working together. And obviously our partners on the left, we've got our federal government, our provincial government, and our county under RTO7, Bruce Gray, Simcoe counties, and Simcoe County, of course. But what we're really striving for is to have our DMO, our destination marketing under the heart of Georgian Bay, as the focal point where operators, stakeholders come to us and then we can focus out to reach out to those other partners. Um, the, the real value is, is getting the tourists, the visitors here, and you can see that the uh, 
the markets that we have, obviously we're dealing with local, the short haul being you know, within easy driving distance, the mid haul being into Toronto, and of course, our European, our overseas visitors. Next slide, please. This one is just a graph that has been pulled together. Um, I have to give Gary Mulner from Toronto Historical Parks credit. He has pulled this information together. He is absolutely a wonderful resource, Gary. You're out there somewhere, thank you. Um, this, this clearly indicates the different regions of our province and, and drives home the message that we're number six in spending, we're number three in visitation. Um, the next slide brings it a little more closer to home. Gary has pulled this together. Um, most recently, we've had a very successful butter tart festival in our downtown community here. Uh, just using some of the formulas that the Ontario government uses, we took a look at the visitation of 18,000 participants. And quite literally, you can see at the bottom, the economic impact breaks the million dollar mark for a butter tart festival in third year running. That's just one event. We know in our other communities we've got some great events coming up. Um, this really drives the message home, the importance of tourism and culture for our four communities. Um, we can be proud, and, and for the organizers of the Butter Tart Festival, congratulations again. Who are our visitors? Um, our overseas visitors, next slide please. Um, that visit Region 7, RTO 7, primarily participate in outdoor activities. Well, where else but the heart of Georgian Bay do we have outdoor activities to offer to our long-haul long guests, our short-haul guests? Overseas visitors are more likely to visit historic sites and parks. Where else in the province of Ontario do you have an inventory of historic sites and parks like we do right here in our community? That being said, we just need to be business ready, but consumer ready, customer ready when they get here. And I think we are going to be able to work in some of our objectives to work with all of the stakeholders to make sure we're ready when they get here and when they continue to come back. I've, I've said this before many times and I could put my, ask the question out there, how many people have been to Disney World and everybody's gonna put their hands up. How many people have been to Disney World more than once? You'll still put your hands up. That's what we want here. We want them not to come for the short visit. We want them to come, visit, enjoy, and go home and tell their friends and family what a great time they had so they come back up again. And I look around this room, and many of the people that are in this room came here because of recreation, and now they've retired, they're living here, they're carrying on businesses here. It's all a plus. Priorities, very quickly to sum it up, our organization is very young, formed in May, incorporated just in June this month. We have had our first uh, inaugural uh, board of directors meeting. We have a very strong board with some wonderful talent on board. Uh, and we've got a lot of work to do, but uh, we've focused in and, and broke into some subcommittees that will be working on it. Um, we're currently in the process of, of doing recruiting for um, a tourism director. That will take place and uh, will happen very, very shortly. Um, we need to continue to develop our strategy and our action plans for both tourism, work with our folks in culture, um, and also, as mentioned earlier, uh, for season tourism. You know, we've got to look after those shoulder seasons, our summer, winter, spring, and fall. Well, we want to continue to work with our partners in Simcoe County and not just our folks at the county level, but we we'll want to reach out to the DMOs that have been so very, very successful, as we all know in the past, Lakeland Country in the Aurelia area, um, the Collingwood, the Blue Mountain area, the Muskokas. Um, we want to open dialogue with them and talk to them and work together and uh, learn from what they've done and joint partner with them in, in some areas. We're currently gaining metrics on the introduction of our brand, our logo, or the heart of Georgian Bay. We are tracking the amount of times we see that in the media and using that as research. And most important, as I look down to the politicians, we're continually looking to secure funding to make sure that our 
objectives are well met and were sustainable. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. And I think the real part of this project starts this afternoon when we get a working group because we want you all involved in that. We need your comments, we need your feedback, and I know that uh, the moderator, Gary Mulner, Kevin Cowie, and myself will be looking forward to sitting down at the table and getting that feedback. Thank you very much.